Hey everyone, welcome to another video in the MongoDB series. In today's video, we'll understand what exactly MongoDB is and what are its key features. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. Now I'm sure you must have heard about databases, but MongoDB is a popularly used not only SQL database. Now, without further delay, let's begin and understand what exactly MongoDB is. So here's what's in store for you. First, we'll understand what MongoDB is. Then we'll understand why exactly MongoDB is used. Then we'll understand the characteristics of MongoDB. After that, we'll understand the working of MongoDB and how it functions. We'll also look at some of the commonly used applications of MongoDB. And finally, we'll look at the top companies that readily deploy MongoDB. So what exactly is MongoDB? It is a document-oriented NoSQL database. It was initially released in August 27, 2009. MongoDB replaces the concept of rows of conventional relational data models with something called documents. It offers developers the flexibility to work with evolving data models. Since it's document-based, MongoDB allows embedded documents, arrays, and represents complex hierarchical relationships using a single record. It is also schema-free, which means that the keys defined in the document are not fixed. As a result, massive data migrations can be ruled out. But you must be wondering, when there's something like SQL, why is no SQL or MongoDB used? There are a few reasons why MongoDB is widely used. First up is flexibility. MongoDB's notion of documents that can contain sub-documents nested in complex hierarchies is really expressive and flexible. Flexible Query Model A user can selectively index some part of a document or a query based on attribute values, regular expressions, or ranges. Next up is Native Aggregation. Native aggregation allows its users to extract and transform data from MongoDB and either load them in a new format or export it from MongoDB to other data sources. It makes it extremely compatible. Lastly, as mentioned earlier, the schema-free model. Now, applications get the power and responsibility to interpret different properties in different ways. Now that you know what MongoDB is and why exactly it's used, Let's have a look at the characteristics of MongoDB. Firstly, it's a general purpose database. Now MongoDB can serve heterogeneous loads and multiple purposes within an application. Again, it has a flexible schema design, document-oriented approaches with non-defined attributes that can be modified on the fly is a key contrast between MongoDB and any other relational database. Next up is scalability and load balancing. It's built to scale both vertically, but most importantly, horizontally. Using sharding, an architect can share load between different instances and achieve both read and write scalability. When it comes to load balancing, this happens automatically and transparently to the user by the shard balancer. Again, we have aggregation framework. Now, MongoDB offers an extract, transform and load framework that eliminates the need for complex data pipelines. Native replication. Now data will get replicated across a replica set without complicated setup. Security features, both authentication and authorization are taken into account in MongoDB. Next up is JSON. Now JSON is widely used across the web for front-end and API communication. And as such, it's easier when the database is also compatible with the same protocol. Lastly, we have MapReduce. Now again, MapReduce is an excellent tool to build data pipelines and MongoDB uses MapReduce readily. Now let's quickly have a look at the working of MongoDB. Data is stored in documents with the help of key value pairs. Now the data is stored in the BSON format. At the back end, MongoDB converts JSON data into a binary format known as BSON. MongoDB also makes provision for nested data. Now, all of these documents are stored in a collection. These collections hold multiple documents, and since MongoDB is schema-less, the documents in one collection need not be similar. Now, again, these collections are stored in the entire MongoDB database. 
As mentioned earlier, MongoDB makes provision for nested data. This makes fetching of data extremely efficient when compared to other databases. Now you must be wondering where exactly MongoDB can be applied or used. So let me help you with that. Several areas of technologies use MongoDB as their DBMS currently. Some of them are Internet of Things, mobile applications, real-time analysis, personalization, catalog management, and content management. Now all said and done, let's look at some of the companies that use MongoDB currently. Companies like Toyota, SAP, AstraZeneca, Adobe, Verizon, Cisco, Barclays, and Google, among others, readily deploy MongoDB as their database management system. So with that, we come to the end of this session on what is MongoDB. Now, this was just an overview of what exactly the database management system does. However, if you want to learn MongoDB in depth, then watch out for more videos from us. Thank you so much for being here. Keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.